Akshayans. Hello everybody. How are you all children? First of all, good morning everybody. Listen, I am your new social science teacher. Okay, I am Mrs. Chennamal. Listen children, before we get into the lesson, we will start our class with just by saying hi and hello. Right? Okay, when I say hi, you have to say hello. When I say hello, you have to say hi. Okay, so hi students. Hello students. Fine. Children, do you have this book in your bag? Do you have, are you able to see this book? You please take this 7th standard history book. Our past. Our past means what? We are going to study our history. Okay. You just write, take this book. Come and sit, sit in front of me again. Okay. Children, in this I mean, uh, history, we are going to uh, study chapter 2. Okay. So, what is the chapter 2, children? Look at your book. You tell me what is the chapter 2? New Kings and Kingdoms. What is the chapter 2? New Kings and Kingdoms. Okay. Children, first, I mean, uh, try to answer me. See, we got, I mean, India got independence from the British rule, right? So, India got independence from the British rule, right? So, that shows that the British were ruling our country. Then, who ruled our country before the British? Who ruled our country before the British? If you look at some foreign countries like the Portuguese, France, Dutch, all these people, they shared the regions, the different regions and they occupied those regions and they ruled. Okay, so before the foreigners, who ruled our country? Before these foreigners, Portuguese, Dutch, France, British, before these people, who ruled our countries? Have you heard of these names? The great kings of Tamil Nadu, Chera, the Chola and the Mandya. Uh, have you heard their names anyway, children? Right. So, I mean, before these foreigners, our country, the great country, India was ruled by so many local rulers. Okay. So many great kings. Got it, children? Right. So, you may think... From when onwards this king and kingdom has formed? Okay, when onwards this king and kingdom has formed, originated? Okay, so that's what we are going to learn in this lesson. See, today we are going to see the first topic that is the emergence of new dynasties. The emergence of new dynasties. Listen children, dynasties means what? Dynasties means the continuous rulers from one family. Okay. For example, the I mean now the uh, great grandfather is ruling a particular broker, uh, in a particular region. After the great grandfather, grandfather, the after the grandfather, father, after the father, the son. Okay. So I mean king, princess. Again, next ruler from their family. Next ruler from their family. So continuous rulers from one family. So that is a dynasty. Got it children? Do you know the meaning for a dynasty? So these dynasties, many, I mean, many new dynasties formed from the 7th century. Got it children? From the 7th century. Children, now you please take page number 16 in this book. You could see a map, okay? And the different regions, they are showing different regions with the different colors. Got it children? You please go through this map, okay? So, these, I mean, dynasties were formed in the 7th and 8th centuries. Got it children? Okay. So, now I will tell you a story. How the king and kingdoms are formed in the 7th century. Okay. See, children, once upon a time in the 7th century, now we are in which century? 21st, right? So, now we are going to learn about the 7th century. Okay. So, in the 7th century, big landlords, 
ओके बिग लैंड लॉर्ड्स और वॉरियर्स चीफ्स दे वे रूलिंग अ आई मीन अ बिग रीजेंट्स ओके सो लैंड लॉर्ड्स मींस व्हाट लैंड लॉर्ड्स इन द सेंस अ पर्सन हु होल्ड्स अ बिग लैंड फॉर्म्स ओके वेरी बिग लैंड फॉर्म्स हैव यू हर्ड द टर्म जमींदार ओके सी चिल्ड्रन जमींदार एंड ऑल दे विल बी द ओनर ऑफ एट लीस्ट सिक्स टू एट विलेजेस ओके सिक्स टू एट विलेजेस इन द सेंस दे आई मीन दे वेर द ओनर ऑफ लॉर्ज आई मीन एकर्स एंड एकर्स ऑफ लैंड ओके राइट सी समंतास ओके समंतास एक्चुअली दे वेर वर्किंग अंडर द लैंड लॉर्ड्स ओके समंतास दे वेर वर्किंग अंडर द land lords see these samanthas way often these people will give a gift to the land lords okay so samanthas what is the duty of samantha samantha will look after he is a subordinate of land lord okay he is a next person subordinate of land lords okay samanthas will give gift to the land lords land lords and these people will collect the tax from the people and that will be submitted to the land lords okay so i mean <clears throat> and these samanthas will provide the military support okay these samanthas will provide the land lords so what support children military support okay and these samanthas were present in the land lords court got it okay so now actually when these samanthas okay so now these people are samanthas in the sense subordinates of land lords when these people will become a rich person okay when these people will become a rich person they will title themselves they will title themselves as maha samanthas maha samanthas what do you mean by maha samanthas maha samanthas means great or big they are the big king okay see once these the samanthas gained more power more wealth or dare enough to overthrow the land lords they will create a, i mean um, they will become a king of the particular region okay so before that what was their position they were the subordinates okay so assisting helping person right the second person after the land lords these people like a courtiers okay and these will i mean samanthas will give i mean uh, provide the gift to the so land lords and they provide the military support they i mean they present in the land lords court but once the samantha gained more power and he will become a popular person or a brave you know i mean a, a brave full person he will overthrow the land lord he will overthrow the land lord and he will occupy that local region he will become a king of that of a circle okay so he named himself as a maha samantas okay or maha mandaleshwara maha mandaleshwara what do you mean by maha mandaleshwara mandalam in the sense this i mean um, what in that particular local region okay mandalam in the sense what particular local region got it so maha mandaleshwara mandaleshwara in the sense he is a great king for the particular local region got it children so this is what happened in the 7th century okay so this is i am mean, uh, i'm giving you overall view land lords were they they were the owner of very big land in the subcontinent subcontinent means what which is a very large land mass when compared with the country which is a small one okay that's why it is known as a subcontinent so land lords were owning a large acres of land in a subcontinent under the land lords samanthas were worked in the 7th century when the samantha gained more power and they become a more uh, rich they when they gain more wealth samanthas overthrew 
the land lord and he became a king in that particular circle of region in the local region they titled themselves as maha samantas or maha mandaleshwara okay right so these samantas got independence from the land lords okay so for explaining this i will get you a real i mean example which happened in karnataka okay so chalukya king okay chalukya king and rashtrakuta okay so chalukya were the land lord here in the mid 18th century when it happened land i mean chalukya were the land lord here in karnataka rashtrakuta like rashtrakuta actually these people were the samantas these people rashtrakuta were the subordinate to the chalukya okay so in the rashtrakuta dynasty the person name actually dandi durga what is the name of the person dandi durga so dandi durga from rashtrakuta dynasty he over through the chalukya okay dandi durga actually he is as a, he was as a samantha okay he was a subordinate when he gained more power when he is i mean a uh, brave enough okay he became a king in the karnataka region got it so ras dandi durga from rashtrakuta they overthrew the chalukya and he became a i mean a king for the local region okay so how he became how a samantha can became a kshatriya a warrior okay how does rashtrakuta became a warrior kshatriya how he can i mean how this person can rule the area okay see children in those in ancient time brahmanas they do lot of yajna yajna means yagam we say no so they did a lot of this ritual i mean a practices to change a person from one varna system to another varna system okay varna system means what so people were divided into four varnas according to their occupation so from the bottom okay that is a sudra next to one is vaishya third i mean in the third position who is the third in the sense from the bottom sorry from the top it is the second position kshatriya and the top one were given to the brahmanas so just i am telling you this varna system were practiced in the ancient time okay children see so now a person wants to change his uh, mean of uh, birth from one i mean a uh, group to another one varna system to another so now rashtrakuta want to change himself as a kshatriya because he is going to rule a particular circle of region so what he did with the help of brahmanas he did yajna okay so uh, the name of the yajna is hiranya garba okay the name of the yajna is hiranya garba hiranya garba literally known as a golden womb okay golden womb in the sense by doing this hiranya garba yaj yajna the person will get a rebirth as a kshatriya okay this believes these are all the ancient customs and believes okay so for that it doesn't mean that this person will die and he will reborn no it doesn't mean that if they do some rituals i mean a traditional practices rituals means what children traditional practices that will be repeated every year that is ritual or religious practices okay likewise he did hiranya garba yajna and he has taken a rebirth as a kshatriya okay so this is not only himself so many of them like um, two more i mean uh, two more uh, examples uh, examples also were given in your book okay children so the for example kadamba mayura sharman okay kadamba mayura sharman and kurjara pratihara harichandra okay kurjara pratihara harichandra three are one man's name one man name okay see there is a kadamba mayura sharman and kurjara pratihara 
Harichandra were from the Brahmanan family. They want to change themselves as a Kshatriya. So what they did? They just they did the Hiranya Karva Yajana and they gave up their religious practices. Normally Brahmanas they follow lot of customs, religious customs, right? So these people just by doing a, I mean a Yajana, they changed themselves from the Brahmanas to I mean uh, military persons or Kshatriyas okay and they were supported a military they established a very good I mean uh, a military I mean a uh, warfare warriors got it children so this is what we have learned today that is uh, I mean uh, the emergence of a new dynasties okay so landlords were going from the landlords Samantha's they overthrew the landlords in the sense they got the independence from the landlord and they formed a kingdom and they gained their position into a kingdom okay for that real example Rashtakuta dynasty they overthrew the Chalukya dynasty in the mid 18th century and the person Dante Durga a person from Rashtrakuta dynasty he established Rashtrakuta dynasty in the Karnataka local region okay children and please look at this your I mean a book page number 16 look at the Kuchara Pratihalas Rashtrakutas Palas Cholas um, Chahamanas Chauvans can you identify the present day states over which they exercised control? The area which they ruled. Please do this homework. This is your today's homework. Okay children. Thank you all.